as a Virgo, as a black woman, as an empathetic person, I had to fine tune uh, my approach over the years. I had to learn the art of energy conservation. A part of black women's programming is to give and give and give of ourselves even when we don't have it. So I want black women to start thinking of everything you say, everything you do, everything, every energetic exchange you have. Think of it as your bank account on this, in the spiritual realm and every interaction you're making a withdrawal. Think of how much energy it takes to get through a day, right? To take care of yourself, to go to work, to cook, to go to the grocery store, to keep, take care of your children. If you have children, how much of your energy does it take to really care for your children in a way that's like beyond every comment, every stitch, everything that you do, everything that you read, everything that you soak in, the TV shows that you watch, the books that you read, it's an energetic exchange. And if y'all knew how valuable that was and how much that on a spiritual realm affected your everyday life, you would be a whole lot more careful about how you divvied out your energy on a day-to-day -day basis. You would think twice about every interaction, every comment you wrote in a comment section, every person that you spoke to, everything that you entertained. You would be very careful. And we need to start thinking of life this way. We need to start operating in this way, like the divine beings that we are. Think of it like, just like your bank account, everything you do is a withdrawal. You might think of it as, oh, it's just a comp it's just a stitch to a video. Oh, it's just a comment in a comment section. That comment in a comment section does some th something to you energetically, and it depletes your energy. Why do you think so many people you know, try to trigger black women when they need an energy exchange, when they need to recharge. And in the spiritual realm, women, but especially black women, you're the 1%. So people are going to go to you to recharge, whether it's your children, whether it's your spouse, whether it's strangers on the internet, they're going to go to you to recharge. This is why so many people online try to trigger black women when they want to go viral, when they want to make money, when they need attention, when they want to bring attention to themselves, their businesses, they trigger black women. Black women are the elite when it comes to spiritual gifts in that way. Again, all women do. All women have it. All women possess it. But we all know this is not anything crazy. We all know black women are top tier in that realm. And there's a reason why. But we give and give and give of ourselves so easily. We give when we don't have it. And it's a very tricky topic because black women's energy is the most powerful. Our spiritual gifts are the most powerful, but we have the least energy because we give it out to everybody. At this point in the game, the only way for us to create freedom for ourselves, the only way for us to create beautiful lives that are easy and that we love, where people, where we don't feel used, is to fine-tune the art of energy conservation that's something I had to do you have to know when when to exchange and when to not when to walk away and when to not a lot of people don't care about the exchange they, they, they just want you around they want some of your good energy and y'all give it out so freely when it's so valuable would you go into your bank account right now and just give every pot body that asks you for a dollar? Would they? Would you give it to them? No. Because you have to pay your bills. Because you have to feed your kids. Because you have to feed yourself. Because you want to go travel. Because you want to do something fun. You want to go hang out with your friends next week. You got to make sure you have enough money in your bank account for that. So why do y'all give away your energy so much? That directly affects your ability to make money, your ability to be happy, your ability to be stress-free, your ability to be free. If you thought about it like this, if more black women thought about their energy like this, y'all wouldn't be online arguing with people. You wouldn't be doing anything that does not spark joy as much as possible. You wouldn't be arguing with that man sticking around long, longer than you should. You wouldn't be trying to help everybody, especially when you know they're not going to do things they need to do. When you know they 
are not really they don't really want your help they just want to vet or vent or they just want to use your energy they just want any kind of exchange with you and if it doesn't benefit you you won't do it and when you do do it it would be very much strategic very much calculated and for a purpose so for me when people ask for my help i ask to myself two things do they have the ability to actually do the things I think they need to do since they're seeking my guidance or my help in that scenario, just like I do in other people? I don't ask people for help unless I know I'm going to do it. Do, do Will they actually do it? Do they actually want to? You know how your friends ask you opinions and ask you things about if they should leave their man or what's going on, blah, 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 but you know they ain't going to leave. So eventually you get to the point where you just stop talking about it. You don't care. You just let them do whatever they want to do. You'll let a dude drag the, your friend through the mud just because she, she if you like it, I love it, that. Stop exchanging with people. Everything is an energetic change. Some people, the gag is some people, they don't do it on purpose. They don't energy vamp or energy siphon off of you on purpose. They don't, at least they don't know they're doing it on purpose, even though they are. You got to understand the difference. You got to understand when they're doing it on purpose and when they're not. And you got to understand, even if they don't know what they're doing, you have to have so many boundaries around your energy that it doesn't even matter what their intentions are. Because you give it when you want to and not for any other reason.